So today I thought I'd like to show you uh, basically all my works together and um, I just want to talk about them a bit. Um, this one in uh, front of you is actually my first uh, large artwork done in Norway and it's on board. Um, it's a meter and a half by um, I think it's a just over just under a meter and over a meter I can't remember now. Uh, it's called Dreaming Felines and um, I guess it's my favorite painting. It's when I really started experimenting with mixed media uh, techniques. Um, so for example there's like this grainy surface is actually sandpaper glued onto it and then that's where I've used the like the tiling putty, the sparkle uh, to get that and I've used a wax uh, I've made a wax seal out of a wood block and um, basically melted the wax on there and pressed it in and that's a, a Japanese symbol which means good luck and good fortune and um, it's actually in reverse but um, in the overall scheme of the painting it's actually the cat here this is a cat and it's dreaming about everything that it likes it likes goldfish and it likes being out in the garden and it likes to get up on vases and peer out, peer out of the window. Um, and because it's a, it's a dream, like people say that things are reverse in a dream, so that's why it's on backwards. So at the moment it means reverse of good luck, which would be bad luck. But because the whole painting is set in a dream, it's reverse, so it means good luck again. So that's just a little quirk with the painting. And um, there's just lots of layers painted some goldfish on here um, now there's nails in here as well I was originally putting red string um, all the way down but um, since then I've decided against that so this one was actually the second artwork I did on board um, definitely not finished in fact it's a long long way from uh, being finished but what I wanted to do was repeat the cat in exactly the same position as in the first one so it was repeated in the same spot and um, now what I've done with this cat is I've actually put string and nails around it the whole um, um, circumference of it and um, how I got that idea was I don't know if you did it at school when you were a kid but when I was a kid in primary school we did these, um, we were given a piece of board and then we were given a pattern and we had to nail nails in it and then get string and create these elaborate intricate patterns with string, string art I guess it's called. Um, so I sort of wanted to bring that into it to sort of go back to my childhood somehow. And um, like this is um, a pattern that comes through, it's actually raised. But um, I've been working on this, I had worked on it for ages and I kept on painting over it and I hate, hated things and I started adding some flowers here and then I rubbed them out. So this one is definitely a work in progress but I want to get it done. So, yeah. So the final one that I've done in, that, in the board series, like they're all on boards, was this one. Um, and I was basically just building up the textures and I'd created a stencil of myself <laughs> a bit vain I know but I'm going over it um, sort of wanted to make my mark I guess that's why I put my own image in there but um, there's some really nice effects and uh, layering techniques and once again I've put the string art into it I uh, just went around one of the paintings um, so that's another work in progress. Uh, I'm going to get to it eventually. One day. I really like this bit. It sort of goes into another layer behind me. So then moving on, uh, I started really getting into the stencils and uh, malayering techniques. And um, this Mona in a snowstorm, which is still another work in progress. It's, a, it's over six months old. Um, and I've um, just realised what it needs and what I'm going to do to it. So after my workshop, I'm going to get into it and I know exactly what it needs to 
make it um, a painting that I'm going to be really happy with. And um, I started doing birds, I guess, um, crows and birds, and they've sort of developed, like this was just like a flock of birds, and there's an angel right there in the middle, in a stencil, if you can notice. I love this work, and once again it was one of those works, what do I need to make it come to life, and I know exactly what I need, and um, what I'm going to be doing is putting bleeding hearts, red hearts, in the birds, uh, running down. Um, and I think that's going to really make it. As you can see, there's another eye here, sort of hidden. Um, so that's coming together. This one, well, this is a bit of a hodgepodge of images, really. Um, initially, it was just my experiment piece, just to try images. But it's starting to work into a composition now. Um, I sort of need to make the elements come together a bit better than, than what they are. Um, so that's a work in progress. Um, it's, but it's getting there. Some really nice um, images. I really like this Mona image. And um, also the Jesus with the bird's body. Um, and then I sort of moved from that into another direction, a more abstract uh, contemporary direction, uh, working with my textures and um, and colours. So, you know, in a, in a lot of ways there's two directions I want to work. I want to work in this this way, where it's, I just work with patterns, textures, colours, and um, at the same time I want to work this other way with images and layering and painting and you know you name everything else drawing etc etc uh, yeah